Hey guys, it's Harry from Upload VR here. Today we're going to be talking about the newly announced headset from HP, the HP Reverb G2. So this new PC VR headset from HP is actually a follow-up to the original Reverb headset. However, there's been some significant changes and improvements. It is a new Windows Mixed Reality headset. However, this one is being made in partnership with Microsoft and Valve because the headset actually uses some Valve technology in things like the speakers and the lenses. So HP are planning to release the headset in the fall, but they will be opening pre-orders early with the headset retailing for 600 US dollars. And it seems the overall theme is that it takes the best of some of Facebook's headsets and the best of some of Valve's headsets and some of that Valve technology to merge it into a new and improved Windows Mixed Reality headset. The G2 uses inside out tracking. So it has two cameras on the front and two on the side, four total which is more than the two on the original Reverb. It also features redesigned Windows Mixed Reality controllers that more resemble Oculus Touch controllers. They've got rid of the touchpad that was originally on there, and now it has analog sticks and a button layout that makes it very similar to the touch controllers you might find on a Quest or a Rift S. There are plans to sell the controllers separately to the headset, and they're backwards compatible with other Windows Mixed Reality headsets. However, you can't use old Windows Mixed Reality controllers with the new G2 headset. So the G2 headset will only be sold as a bundle with the controllers included. To go back and touch upon that Valve technology that I mentioned earlier. So the speakers that are hanging off ear on the new Reverb headset are actually the exact same speakers found in the Valve Index. The other part of the technology that's being partnered up with Valve here is actually found in the lenses. Unlike the speakers, the lenses that you'll find in the G2 aren't the exact same lenses that you'll find in the Valve Index. However, in a press briefing, HP did mention that the lenses are designed by Valve and they use Valve technology. If we compare three of these headsets, the Oculus Rift S, the upcoming Reverb G2, and the Valve Index, you can start to see some interesting comparisons. So the Reverb G2 offers two panels, which are 2160 by 2160 per eye and measure 2.98 inches. You can manually adjust those with an IPD slider, which you can't do on the Oculus Rift S. That's because the Oculus Rift S uses one panel uh, across both eyes. It offers a 1280 by 1440 resolution per eye on one panel. The Valve Index uses two panels as well with manual adjustment and they offer 1440 by 1600 per eye. So when you put everything up together like that, the resolution in the G2 really is quite high. It's one of the best you can get in any VR headset available on the market at the moment. In terms of refresh rate, the Reverb G2 will offer 90 hertz, which is 10 hertz above the Oculus Rift S's offering, which is 80 hertz only. The Valve Index, to no one's surprise, beats out both of those headsets on refresh rate. Uh, that can go up to 120, even 144 hertz if you have the right equipment. In terms of tracking, the Reverb G2 has inside out tracking which is done via four cameras which is two more than were in the original reverb headset so you have two on the front and two on the sides now that's not quite as many as the oculus rift s which has five cameras however four cameras still is a marked improvement over the original two that you had in most windows mixed reality headsets and the original reverb of course the valve index uses an outside in tracking system with lighthouse sensors that you mount externally from the headset as i mentioned earlier the reverb g2 will have those valve index speakers the exact same excellent speakers from the index and the rift s for audio has the piped audio that goes down the straps in terms of controllers the reverb g2 controllers are similar to oculus touch controllers they're laid out in a similar way and they're designed with similar button layouts of course neither the rift s nor the g2 have any kind of finger sensing or touch bar like you see on the valve index when you start to place all these specs up against each other it's clear that HP are really trying to get the best of both worlds and take some of the best things from Valve and Facebook's headsets. You have that lens technology and the speakers from the Valve Index, and then you also have the touch controller-esque design. It really seems like the Reverb G2 is being designed as a headset that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe and compete with some of the existing headsets on the market. The headset is available to pre-order in the US from today and will ship later in the year in the fall. We haven't had a chance to go hands-on with the headset yet at all. There's been no hands-on demos. We're not sure if they will be before launch, but make sure to stay tuned in case there is. If you want to read a more in-depth write-up about the G2, there'll be a link in the description to an article on uploadvr.com. And if you want more VR news like this, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out uploadvr.com for all your daily VR news reviews and interviews. So let us know what you think of the Reverb G2 in the comments below, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, guys.